sports fans and baseball fans and Chicago White Sox fans. I am here with another episode of the Chicago White Sox recap, where we recap the current, uh, well, past week of White Sox games. And I want to announce before we get started that this will be the last episode of the season. Even though there is one more week of games after this week or this coming week. And the reason for that is twofold. The first reason is that the White Sox this week wrapped up their division. They've already won their division and they probably can't increase or make better their, their standing within the playoffs uh, given the records of the other two division winners. So, um, so there's that. I mean, there's no more mystery. We're, we won the division and we are where we are and we're going to be where we're going to be in the playoffs. And the second reason for that is also that there is, um, similarly, there's only seven games left. So, um, we will, um, move on past that and this is going to be it. So, uh, we're going to start with the September 19th game in this recap. This was the White Sox versus the Rangers. And it was the um, last game of the Ranger series. This was Giolito versus Jordan Lyles. And the White Sox came in 84 and 64. And they won 7 to 2. For Chicago, Abreu was 2 for 4 with a run and 2 RBIs. Grandal was 1 for 4 with a homer, a run, and an RBI. Garcia was 2 for 5 with a run and 2 RBIs. Hernandez was 1 for 3 with a run and 2 RBIs. And Giolito got the win. He pitched 5 and a third and allowed 6 hits and 1 earned run. For Texas, Kiner Falefa was 2 for 3 with a run and an RBI. And Calhoun was 2 for 4. Lyles got the loss. He went three and two thirds, allowed eight hits and five earned runs. So with this, the White Sox improved 85 and 64, and they're one and zero on the week at this point. September 20th was the White Sox versus the Tigers. We start the Tiger series. Rodon versus Manning, and the White Sox come in at 84 and 64, one and zero this week, and they lose seven to four to the Tigers. Now. I'm going to, before we go on with this, I'm going to let people know next year, the Tigers are going to be a force. We are not going to see the bad Tigers. And the reason that the bad Tigers are the bad Tigers is because they got off to a horrible start. And A.J. Hinch was still learning the team. But in the second half of the season, the Tigers are the best team in the AL Central. The White Sox are the third best team in the AL Central in the second half. So next year is not going to be the pushover that we we experienced this year. So anyway, going on, the White Sox, for the White Sox, T.A. was one for four with a run. Robert was one for three. Grandall was one for two with an RBI. And Jimenez was one for four with an RBI. Um, Rodon went three. He allowed two hits and three earned runs or three runs, and two were earned. Kimbrell got the loss. He went an inning, and he allowed one hit and one earned run. For Detroit, Victor Reyes was one for four with a run and an RBI. Scope was one for four with an RBI. Castro was one for one with an RBI. Well, that was Harold Castro, and Willie Castro was one for three with a run. Uh, for Detroit, Manning pitched five innings. He allowed four hits and three earned runs. And Lang got the save, his first of the year. And he pitched one inning, allowed no runs. The White Sox dropped to 85 and 65 and 1-1 one and one on the week at this point. September 21st was a chance for the White Sox to clinch. Uh, but they it ended up that they uh, didn't. Um, the game was moved to noon to avoid incoming bad weather. And the matchup was Keuchel versus Tyler Alexander of Detroit. In the bottom of the fourth, or the bottom of the first, 
Scope was gunned out at the plate, no runs, and we thought we might be off to a good start with that play, coupled with the White Sox scoring twice in the top of the third. But the White Sox ended up losing 5-3, and um, their hopes of clinching the division were pushed back at least another day because of that. For the White Sox, Anderson was 2-for-5 with a run and an RBI. Robert was 2-for-5 with two RBIs. Abreu was 2-for-5, and Moncada was 2-for-4. Keuchel pitched 5. He allowed 11 hits and two earned runs. And Fry got the loss in relief. He pitched 1 and 2 thirds, allowed 4 hits and 3 earned runs. For Detroit, Badu was 2 for 5 with 2 RBIs. Goodrum was 2 for 4 with a run and an RBI. Cameron was 3 for 3 with 2 runs. And Victor Reyes was 4 for 4 with a run and 2 RBIs. Uh, Tyler Alexander pitched 5. He allowed 8 hits and 2 earned runs. Garcia got the win for Detroit. He allowed he went one and a third and allowed zero runs, and Fulmer got the save his eleventh of the year, pitching one and a third and allowing two hits. The White Sox dropped to eighty five and sixty six and one and two for the week with that. So um, getting off to a bad start so far in this week. On September 22nd, there was no game because it was rained out. So, on the 23rd, we played a doubleheader against the Indians. Uh, in Game 1, the White Sox took on the Indians, and it was Lopez versus Savale. The White Sox came in 85-66 and 66 and 1-2 and on the week. And the White Sox win big 7-2 to and clinch the AL Central. Uh, for Chicago, uh, Anderson was 3-4, for four, 2 runs, 2 home runs, and 4 RBIs. Robert was 2-3, for three, a run, a home run, and 2 RBIs. Garcia was 2-4 for four with a run. And Hernandez was 3-3 three for three with a run. Lopez pitched 3 and a third. He allowed 4 hits and 2 earned runs. And Bummer... Got the win in relief, one inning pitched, no runs. For Cleveland, uh, Bradley was one for two, a home run, an RBI, and a run. And Austin Hedges, their catcher, was one for three with a run, a home run, and an RBI. Savali got the loss. He went one and uh, two thirds and allowed seven hits and seven earned runs. And the White Sox, with this win, improved to 86 and 66 and two and two for the week. That brings us to September 24th, um, which um, saw the White Sox play Cleveland. And it was, again, I got these these um, records messed up, I think. Let me see. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the White Sox come in 86 and 67 and 2-2 two and two on the week. The White Sox win one nothing, with a run in the top of the fifth inning. Cease was hit on the arm with a line drive and left the game, but got the win for five and a third innings pitched and three hits. And Hendricks got the save in relief, his 35th save of the year. The White Sox scored on a Lewis Robert Homer in the fifth, and uh, <coughs> the loss went to Cleveland's Stefan, who pitched two innings, pit, two innings, allowed two hits and one earned run. So uh, that takes us to September 25th, White Sox at Cleveland. And this was the last game of this week. Lance Lynn versus Morgan. The White Sox come in 87 and 67 and... Um, they come in uh, three and two for the week, and uh, the Indians whitewash us in this one, six nothing. So Chicago, um, for Chicago, Lynn pitches six innings, allows seven hits and six earned runs, and he gets the loss. And there's no offensive stars to talk about, obviously. 
Cle for Cleveland, Straw was two for four with two runs. Rosario was two for four with a run. Ramirez was two for three with a homer, two runs, and three RBIs. And Reyes was one for four with an RBI. Morgan, for the uh, Indians pitching, got the win. He pitched six innings, allowed one hit, and no earned runs. Of course, he came into this game with an ERA over five. So, I don't know what we were doing. So with this, the White Sox dropped to 87 and 68 on the year, um, and uh, three and three for the week. So uh, we have seven games. So now the White Sox have seven games left next week. Uh, it'll be one against Cleveland, the last game against Cle the, of the Cleveland series. Then we have four against Detroit. One of those is a standalone game. So we play Cleveland on Sunday, then we play Detroit on Monday, and then we play Cincinnati two times, and then we go back and then we play Detroit again for the last three of the of the season. And again, I you know enjoyed doing the series, but uh, I mean all good things must come to an end. And you know, with us having wrapped up the division and the fact that we only play Detroit, Cincinnati, and Cleveland to um, round out the year, and those are the only seven games left, I'm going to leave it at that, and uh, we'll see about what happens next year. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.